the people at Columbia and the people at the IDB, we realized that after the world financial crisis, there were going to be major changes in international capital markets and in international financial policy. We were entering a new world. In this day and age, every single economy in the world is connected to international capital markets, international trade flows, migration. Nowadays, you can be in Ecuador, but you have to understand China. And it's precisely the fact that there is uh, such an interconnection now among countries in the world that Colombia sees as a great opportunity to partner with the IDB to develop a course on international financial issues in emerging markets. The participants, by coming from developing and emerging market economies, they many times are subject to the policy decisions that come from advanced economies. The question for them is, should I just mimic the policies that are taking place in the industrial world? Should I do something different? They are really hungry to help their individual countries to move up into the development uh, frontier. Typically, as a policymaker, you think the problem of your country is unique. And what people realize here is that their problem sometimes is systemic. A lot of people have it. Once they realize that there's a lot to analyze and learn from this diversity of people having the same problem. As an economist for Nicaragua, I just tend to focus very heavily on the Nicaraguan issues. I loved Santiago Levy's lecture on social policy. He invited me to think about social policy in a way that is interconnected to macroeconomics. So this was a fantastic opportunity for me. There's an extraordinary range of talent, of academic expertise that's here in Colombia, and the IDB as well. So it's really worthwhile for me to have a week to stop the day-to-day -day and be exposed to what some of the best minds that are thinking about these issues have to offer. These connections that are established during this very intense period are not lost. So this is not only capacity building, but network building. What you get from the course is a sense of the complexity of what's out there and the need to continuously be updating yourself and your skills to be able to keep in this game. It moves much faster than what you think it moves. If we could replicate at the global scale what the class does in terms of the interaction between experts and practitioners, that could be a huge step forward towards improving the global economy.